Hey guys, how are ya? This is Dan, aka Saxman112, and today I'm going to be unboxing my Windows Media Center remote and IR receiver that I just received today. I ordered this about two days ago on Amazon, and I was promised delivery today thanks to Amazon Prime to free two-day shipping. So that is awesome. And for those wondering, right now at least, I do not know the the exact brand of this remote and IR receiver that I'm unboxing, but I guess I will figure that out during this unboxing process. And you'll probably know by the time I upload this and you see the title. So here we go. Alright, I'll actually put it up a little bit more so you guys can see what I'm doing. Careful as to not cut the box inside. And what do we have here first? These sealed air packets. I just love popping these. I think they're more fun to pop than the original bubble wrap, even. My receipts. Don't want to show it to you guys because I or don't want to put it up too close to the camera because then you'll see my address. And here is the remote itself. So as you can see here on the front, it says Vista MCE remote control. Easily control your digital media. 46 keys plus three mouse keys. Infrared wireless freedom up to 10 meters. And then below that it says powerfully powerful integrated infrared, excuse me, remote control allows you to control your allows you to enjoy all digital freedom media wirelessly and effortlessly. Freedom of up to ten meters, many extra media center media center edition and mouse buttons for quick and easy access from the most popular or for quick and easy access to the most popular Windows Media Center PC. Then below, it just shows some stuff that it can work with. Then here in the back, it shows many of the functions of the remote controls. I'll just put that up to the camera, and if you guys want to, you can just pause here and read that. Because most of the stuff is self-explanatory. So, let's unbox, or get this sucker open now. God, and look at the kind of packaging it's in. Ugh, I just hate this kind of packaging. Why can't they just use regular boxes? I, I don't get why they had to pack it like this. Well, then again, it is just a remote and little IR receiver, but still, that could be packed in at least a little box so you don't have to use um scissors and tear it open. So, now I'm just going to be cutting it open if I can. opening packaging like this. Hopefully I got it. And again, as I said, I don't know the exact brand, brand name of this. It actually doesn't say on here. I guess the brand will be CE Compass because that's the company that I ordered this from. So... Let me just get this open once and for all. Come on! Oh wow! That was loud. Jeez! So I'll throw this to the side. Oh, and the first thing that flew out of this box is the user manual. And I don't see why you'd really need to use it um, to read a user manual if you're if it's just something as simple as a remote and IR receiver. And from what I've read on reviews, from reviews on Amazon, um, the IR receiver is literally plug and play. So there's no additional software that you need to install. So I'll get through the less exciting stuff first. Right here are some AA batteries. 
and then actually get all this out. This right here is a IR receiver and it connects by way of USB to your computer. And the reason why I ordered one that I needed an IR receiver like this that I connected to the computer is because if if I'm correct, the laptop that I ordered and I still have it right now and I've used since two thousand eight does not have an infrared sensor built in. So that's why I needed that. So that's that. Oh, there we go, finally. And here are two AAA batteries, which I'm assuming are for the remote itself. So I'm gonna obviously need to put those in. And here is the remote itself. As you can see, it has a plentiful array of buttons. Right here, I don't know if it's E button is, but I'll have to figure out what that is. Power button for your computer and or TV if it supports this remote like this. Buttons for TV, music I'm assuming, photos and video. And I don't know what all these buttons are down here. Get to focus. But I'll figure those out in a review. Then right here you have your standard play, rewind, fast forward, um, previous and next buttons, as well as stop, pause, and record. Then right here you have a back button, info button, left mouse click, right mouse click, along with the little pad down here for, that allows you to move your mouse cursor around. But from reading reviews on Amazon, I've heard that mouse control is not that good with this remote and it moves very slowly. So I highly doubt that I'm actually going to be using mouse. I'm using this con to control my mouse because I primarily bought this for when I watch um, live and or recorded TV on Windows Media Center. Then right here you have your standard directional buttons along with OK. Mouse, mouse tracking pad, as I said before. Volume up and down. Mute, it's a tiny button. Start, channel up and down. And then your standard numerical pad, as well as close, clear, and enter. And, all right, so actually here's some more information on the back. Again, I don't see a specific brand but it says model number VRC 11100. So this is the model number VRC 11100, or 1100, excuse me, remote from, I guess I'll just say CE Compass, because again, that's the company that shipped it out to me. So now I'll just put in the batteries and I'll bring this video to a close. <clears throat> ah, screw it, I'll just use my scissors. Whoa. There we go, and here are the two AAA batteries that CE Compass provides. Again, nothing, nothing much you can say about these because they're just batteries. So now I'll just install them in the remote and wrap this video up. And that is that. Um, the, thanks for watching my unboxing of the CE Compass VRC model VRC one one zero zero 
a remote for Windows Media Center. And if I didn't say this before, this remote works with Windows Media Center on Windows XP Media Center Edition from 2005, Windows Vista, honestly, Home Premium and above, because Basic wouldn't have it, and of course, all versions of Windows 7. Again, except for Starter. So, there you have it. I hope you guys enjoy enjoyed watching this unboxing video. If you did, give it a big old thumbs up to show that you loved it. And also, as, as always, be sure to comment comment on this video with your thoughts of this and be sure to subscribe because as always as I keep telling you guys I just really really love seeing my subscriber count go up I am well over 520 some subscribers I to say as of right now and I did say I had to say that that's pretty impressive so for this year in 2012 I'd love to see that number go up to at least 600 or more so, so if you love watching my videos, just subscribe yourself, tell everyone else you know to subscribe to my channel if they like my videos, and so on and so forth. Okay, I've talked enough, so I will see you guys next time.